Our word of the week this week is going to be tow, or the well tow. It's just the location of, actually I'll read the definition, it's uh, the junction between the face of the well and the base metal. It's a very common term in the welding industry. If you don't know where the well tow is, make sure you figure it out because you're going to look like a fool if somebody says, look at the tow and you don't know where it is. What I did here is I drew a uh, mock-up of a, a groove weld, a fillet weld with a T-joint and butt joint here. It's a single V uh, butt joint over here. And I got the toes labeled right here. And you can see the toe goes down or points to this spot where the base metal meets the weld face. And over here is the same thing. Base metal meeting the weld face. Those are your toes. Um, fillet weld, same thing. Face meeting the base metal. Again, face meeting the base metal. There's two toes on each weld. The reason that they are, uh, the, the word toe is a common term is because there's some pretty simple defects that can happen to the weld toe. Well, we already went over undercut previously on a different word of the week, but uh, we'll take a, a picture of each one of these and look at them here in a little bit. Uh, individually, so we'll look at a toe crack and undercut and a lack of fusion. A toe crack, uh, it's kind of a major defect. Um, the definition of toe crack is a crack in the base metal beginning at the toe of the weld. That's why it's so important to know where the toe is. Um, the cause, uh, transverse shrinkage stresses indicates the heat affected zone has a brittleness problem. Uh, prevention, increase preheat if possible and use a more ductile fillet metal. The reason that uh, more ductile filler metal will help is if you have, if you're clamping something down, you're welding it, you're putting all this distortion into it and stress. If the uh, filler metal moves a little bit, it'll keep it from cracking right on the toe. The other thing that it can cause a toe crack is hydrogen cracking. So you want to use like a low hydrogen electrode, so like a 7018, uh, that can prevent the toe cracking. This is a major, major defect. Uh, and sometimes you can't really see it unless you put a die pen on. If you do a die penetrant test, a toe crack will bleed right out and you can't miss it. Uh, undercut is a little indent on the toes of the welds. Um, this is probably one of the hardest things to get rid of in welding. Um, so that's why knowing where the toe is is so important because you're always looking for undercut. Every time you do a weld, you look to see if you have undercut. Lack of fusion is a pretty obvious defect especially in a uh, groove joint. I mean, you have to fill up the full cross section of the area. If it's not filled all the way in, you're going you're to see it right off the bat. There's a couple of slang terms for lack of fusion. Uh, cold lap is the main one. It's not, cold lap is commonly um, called out in the welding industry. It's actually lack of fusion. There's also overlap. Um, basically, the weld is not mixing in with the base metal, and it's usually right on the toe of the weld. So these three defects, uh, are pretty significant defects. Toe and lack of fusion are probably the most dangerous. Uh, undercut sometimes can uh, cause problems, but it can take a long time for the undercut to cause problems. But uh, if you're passing a code quality weld, you're allowed 1 32nd of undercut only. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll take a look at some pictures of a toe crack, undercut, and lack of fusion and uh, see what they look like on a, on a picture. So it's pretty hard to miss this toe crack, right? Well, it's got a big arrow going through it too as well. See, toe cracks are very obvious. Uh, but literally, like I was saying, if you put a dye pen on that, it would bleed right out. So that's what a toe crack looks like. We'll get one more picture here of a toe crack, and then we'll look at some undercut. All right, we just looked at a uh, fillet weld toe crack, and this is a groove weld toe crack. And you can see it almost looks like the the groove weld is going to you know, pull right out of the plate. So it's fairly obvious on why that's so important and so dangerous. All right, so we'll look at some undercut next. All right, this is a uh, fillet weld with just massive amounts of undercut on the top toe there. Looks like a, looks like a stick weld. Pretty obvious that that's, that's not going to make code, but so that's what undercut looks like. Again, it's on the toe. And now we'll look at some lack of fusion that's also located on the weld toe. 
All right, the last one we're looking at here is lack of fusion. And this is a pretty good example. It looks like a MIG weld that somebody didn't weave correctly. But you can see right in here, over in here, is that fused? Nobody really knows. It's, uh, it's a sketchy looking weld. It definitely isn't going in smoothly with the base metal. So that would be rejected all day long, but that would be a good example of lack of fusion. And then I found a uh, micrograph we can look at for lack of fusion. That's uh, a really good picture here that we'll, we'll throw up for our last picture. And of course, it's located right on the toe of the well. There's a ton of flaws in this uh, weld here. This is a micrograph, so it's an etch. They cut it, or cut it cross, the cross section out of the weld, and you can see the bottom right toe has no fusion with the base metal. You gotta remember this is zoomed in with a microscope. So that could, could have looked like it was okay without doing this testing, and then you can clearly see that it's not okay and that there could be a major catastrophic failure with this. So there's the pictures of uh, toe crack undercut and lack of fusion. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well, and we'll see you next week with a new word of the week.